Now to Thriving in Pink. It is Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. According to the American Cancer Society, around 164,000 women in the United States are living with metastatic breast cancer right now, and the prognosis can be stark. The relative survival rate for five years is less than a third, and now some women are sharing their story in hopes of helping others. Kansas City native Amanda Quick was 29 and living her dream life in New York City when, in the spring of 2021, she found something. I felt under my left armpit just a swollen lymph node lump. She says she dismissed it until a few months later when it had grown larger and harder. They had me get a sonogram, a mammogram, a biopsy. The diagnosis, metastatic breast cancer, or stage four, meaning the cancer had already spread to other parts of her body. You get a stage four metastatic breast cancer diagnosis. I cannot even imagine how you process that. For some time, I, I definitely didn't. I was definitely in denial. I got screened, head down to the bottom floor. She started on hormone therapy, including a targeted drug and monthly injections. The days that I go into treatment, those are the hardest. I think everything just always comes back. I have stage four breast cancer. The American Cancer Society estimates that of the women diagnosed with breast cancer each year, 6% are at stage four. In 2016, while 36-year-old new mom Ann Keen was working out, I had noticed some pain along my sternum. She says she thought she was just out of shape, but the pain persisted. A week later, she noticed some dimpling in her breast. It was metastatic breast cancer. It had already spread to my bones. That was the pain that I was feeling in my sternum. Uh, it was in my lymph nodes and also in my liver. She started chemotherapy and the medication sent her into early menopause. I had no inclination that this was even possible to have stage four breast cancer at such a young age. Stage four cancer is usually considered incurable. Treatment is typically focused on preventing the spread of cancer cells, treating symptoms and improving quality of life. It's not just about survival and numbers and months and years, which are, of course, incredibly important, but also thinking about how we are living our days. New research is vital to moving the needle on outcomes for patients. About 55% of patients with metastatic breast cancer have a relatively new type of classification of that breast cancer called HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. And there is a new treatment called TDXD or in HER2 that is improving the survival of these women. Results from the clinical trial showed the targeted treatment slowed the spread of the cancer and improved survival rates by 35% for those with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. And new technology is looking to use blood tests to change the way cancer cells are diagnosed and tracked. Six years after her diagnosis, Anne, now 42, is hoping to inspire others. I really thought I wouldn't see my kid go to kindergarten. And now I wake up in the morning, I work out, I'm working full time, I can go pick up my daughter from school. It's really beautiful. And now she's training to run the Boston Marathon again in 2023 to raise money for research. Amanda is also using her diagnosis to reach others. What have you learned most through your journey so far? Every day is a gift. If there's one person that can say, hey, I saw your experience, I saw your story, and you've helped me get through today, then, then that's amazing. And the financial realities for some patients with metastatic breast cancer can be enormous and time short. A bipartisan bill aimed at relieving some of that burden by removing the waiting periods for access to benefits and health care from Social Security, disability and Medicare expires at the end of the year if it's not passed. But, you know, I have two dear friends who are metastatic and I do have to say these these uh, new drugs provide so much hope. We need more research. We need more awareness because this has been a disease that people avoid because it's it's a sad one. But we need people to, to get together to raise awareness and to help these women right. but you can live beautifully and amazingly with metastatic breast cancer and women are proving it every day well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from gma every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on gma